Hi everybody, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Mach 1 kit. This is by USV Official. Um, this is a dual 18650 mod. It doesn't come with the batteries, but it is a dual 18650 mod. It does go up to 240 watts and it is a squonk mod. There's your squonk bottle. Isn't that cool? So there's your squonk bottle. It does come with the RDA and the mod, which is nice. If you're looking for something that's a whole kit, this would actually be it. Um, it also does a couple other functions as such as wallpaper and things like that, which I'm going to take you down and we're going to talk more about it. We're going to touch on the RDA just a little bit. I'll do a quick build and then we'll go over the mod itself and then we'll come up and I'll give you my pros and cons. So here we are with the Mach 1. This is a dual battery squonk kit and this is the box that it comes in. On the back, it's going to tell you it's from USV Official, United Society of Vape. It does um, say that it's a squonker kit. That means that it actually has the mod and the RDA that come with it. Um, and it's got a couple of extras in it. So you open it up. And um, these things are actually on the bottom, but I did pull them out to be on the top. You've actually got the nice user manual. It gives you some specifics as well as uh, measurements and things like that. And also some information about updating some of the features of the menu, which I will talk about later. And then you've got this card here. This actually is um, just gives you a little bit more information and explains about the 90 day warranty period. And then you've got this here, which this is actually just, you know, to contact them. This is their contact information. And then you've got the kit itself, which again, it does come with the RDA and the mod. And you can pull that out like so. And then in this box, you're gonna get some extras. Um, what you're going to get in here is going to be, which I think is really, really cool. They're actually going to give you a pair of coils. Um, they come in this little glass jar or plastic jar, which I think is really, really cool. Then you're going to be getting some cotton. This is cloud kicker cotton. So they give you some cotton, which I think is awesome. You're also going to get this little baggie. It's got some extra screws for your RDA. Um, so you have that as well as your tri tool and some O-rings, always, always helpful. And then here you're going to get your USB firmware upgrade cable. I do not recommend charging any batteries in the mod. This is just for the firmware upgrades or to make different options, which I will tell you about later. And yeah, so that's that for the packaging. And then we've got this. This is actually really, really nice. I think that just looking at this is just, it's sexy. This is the first sexy, sexy um, dual battery squonk mod that I've seen personally. And I just, I think it's awesome. Automatically, you're going to get this thing just to um, show you where the glass is, I guess. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that's on there. But yeah, so that's like a little um, thing to show you. This is the front of it. This is your fire button, your plus and minus, as well as your USB charging. It does come with the RDA on it. On one side, it says Mach 1. On the other side, it says Mach 1. This is actually where your squonk bottle is. This plate does come off just like this. It is held on with four magnets. They're really, really strong. They pop right back on, which I really, really like. And then your squonk bottle is right there. On the bottom is your battery compartment door. And all you need to do is just go like this, and then the door opens up. It is clearly marked minus and plus. It could have been a little bit better, um, maybe, you know, a little bit brighter, but it is like a yellow, so it's not really in black, so you can see it. Um, so your battery configurations would go there. And then that is the inside, and down on the bottom, you can also see the battery configuration information there. Now, the cool thing about this mod is that your squonk bottle, if you notice this little, little grip here, if you push down on that, this is actually your squonk bottle. Is that not cool? The squonk bottle is actually made in the shape of this space here, which is usually just an empty space for dual battery mods. They've actually incorporated a squonk bottle that fits and takes up all that space. You've got yourself like a little tube configuration to do the squonking action. And then you've got this squonk bottle. The squonk bottle does hold eight mLs of e-liquid. I do suggest only filling it up to this line right here. That way you won't have any overflow, but it's really, really easy. You just put your juice right there. That's your bottle. It's kind of squishy, but I won't lie to you. It is kind of hard as well. But of course, it's very, very innovative. And to me, this is a very, very innovative idea. I mean, who has thought about this so far? Only USV. So I really think that that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put some juice in here, then we'll put some batteries in, and then we're gonna take a look at the Okay, RDA. so for today's e-liquid, I'm actually gonna be using this Mambo. This is from Debosh. I have a 
um, e-liquid review already on this line. This is actually from their Dolce line. This is like a lemon cake um, with uh, filled with like different berries and stuff. It's really, really good. If you like a flavor like that, that would be great. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there, push that up and that's it. And then you wanna get your two 18650 batteries that are not included. And you're gonna put them in based on this configuration. So down and, and then you just close up. it up and the door stays on really really there's no wiggle or anything like that once you close that you're actually holding that in and then you put this on here um we'll be going over the menu in just a second but i do want to go ahead and take a look at the rda now this rda is called the mach 1 rda it does have um it's a 24 millimeter rda it does say united society of vape which is usv mach 1 and then it's got your serial number it already has the squonk pit already installed it does have a removable 810 drip tip, so you can go ahead and change this out to any drip tip that you like. It is let, like a little bit snug, but it has a really, really thick O-ring in there, but you can go ahead and do that. And then it's got this top piece here. This is actually your airflow. It's got like a step down system, so it's really, really neat. If you notice, it's got the three holes. So you've got your really, really big, medium, and small. Depending on what you like, you just go ahead and twist this. And it's really, even though there's no knurling on the top, it's really easy to go ahead and change that out. So I think that that's cool. The deck is kind of a basic deck. I'm not gonna go too much into this RDA, only because it is a kind of a basic deck. It reminds me of like the, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of it. Um, I think, um, oh my God, I almost had it too. It's can't remember um but yeah it's it's got like those screw type posts um and it is shared posts so you would just go ahead and put your coils in and have them meet in the middle the one cool thing about this is that it does have a deep juice well i do like that juice well it's a, kind of deep which makes for a really really good vape when you have um a lot of juice well in there so that when your juice does come up through this um squonk uh pin that it will get it wet. I'm so sorry. I'm still sick a little bit. So it'll get everything really, really nice and juiced up. Now, when you're building on this, you do want to make sure that you're taking a look at the airflow um, slits because dependent on where what airflow you want to use is where you want to put your coils on something like this. I'm going to go ahead and put a build on this but again i'm not going to be focusing too much on the rda because i think that the real the real host of this show is going to be this mod itself so let me go ahead and just get some coils and of course for my coils what i like to use are my fused claptons by coil clout um these are like my go-to's like literally i buy a whole bunch at a time these are my favorite favorite coils you can get these at coilclout.com if you use the coupon code WENDY15, you get 15% off of anything on the website. They've also got like things like the coily tool and things like that. So I think that's awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in real quick the one, first coil and then I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to clip it and then do the other side. So here we go. Go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to push it as far as I want. I'm just going to go ahead and clip these and then I'll clip the other one. So just like I usually do, there we go, there's one, and then here's the other one, there we go. And then I'm gonna just take this out and I'm just gonna measure it with the other coil. I'm just gonna make this a little bit more even, oops. I hate when I do that. There we go. And then just put this one on here. It just makes it a lot simpler. Another thing you can do is use that coily tool. It's just that I've actually misplaced it right now. <laughs> Um, because I've been doing a lot of cleaning and stuff since I've been sick. Um, I haven't had a chance, so I kind of misplaced it right now. So we're just going to do it like this. So what I am going to do and I like to do on something like this is I'm going to go ahead and space my coil a little bit. I do like spaced coils sometimes because they heat up faster in my opinion and they give less, um, less um, time to ramp up, just in my opinion. So, and not so many hot spots either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and space it like that and then do the other one. It doesn't have to be perfect because once they're in place, they actually do go ahead and fix themselves, I promise you. And just space this one a little bit. There we go, and then smush it back together. And there we go. So now we've got two space coils. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one in. Put that in that hole there. 
And again, they are sharing the holes, so yeah, that's what makes it a little bit rough on this type of um, deck. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm not into shared posts personally. I'd rather have four posts or a post list, but in this case, we're gonna be using this one. So let's just go ahead and put that one there. Hold that one and put this one in. And then we'll straighten them up at the end. I'm gonna space this one out just a little bit more. There we go, smush it back together. There we go, and we're in. And then put this one in here, put this one in there. Trying to keep it on camera. And just push that one in and then tighten those down. Again, this is a pretty basic um, RDA, to be honest with you. It's nothing too fancy or not too fancy, whichever way you want to put it. And then just tighten those down. You want to make sure these are nice and tight because if not, when you're finagling with them, they can loosen up, which you want to straighten out again anyways. I'm just going to go ahead and put my screwdriver back in there. I'm going to raise it up a little bit and do the same thing on this side. Raise it up a little bit. And I'm going to move this one in a little bit that way. And I'm going to clip that extra piece right here, making sure it's not to do my other coil and make sure that all your pieces are out when you're doing that because if you have any leftover pieces inside it can give you a short either on your mod or your rda so you want to go ahead and make sure that you're taking eating those up and do a little pinching see if they're starting to heat up right there there we go get them to glow evenly from the inside out We've almost got them glowing evenly. Just gonna slightly strum it. That's why you wanna use ceramic tweezers also, because that way when you are messing with your coils, you're not um, gonna be giving yourself a short or anything. Okay, so that's glowing evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and get some cotton. And we'll I've got my up. cotton in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just fluff it out a little bit. This out just a little bit more, fluff that out a little bit, and then we'll trim it. Just gonna trim it to right about there. Trim that to, I'm not gonna spend way too much time on this RDA, but I am gonna be using it. So put that in there, put this in here. Make sure that you open the airflow. You definitely want the airflow open on both sides, just like any other build. There we go. Make sure that's nice and open. And then we can go ahead and start squonking. Now, I even though I'm gonna start the squonking action so that you can see the squonking happening, I am gonna be helping it along because that's just what I do, especially on first time builds. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the squonk bottle right there. It comes up really, really easy. You see that? Look at, even though that's a harder bottle, like that to me is like really awesome. Look at that. I'm not really pressing too hard. I'm actually using my nail. So I think that that's cool. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and wet a little bit on the top. That way we can make sure that the cotton is, or the juice is actually wetting the cotton from within the coils. Because that's just the way I do it. Turn this up some. There we go. Oh yeah. Getting in there really, really nice. A little bit higher. There we go. And then let's squonk again. See, just using my nail, so it's not that hard at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix my cotton because of my OCD. Make sure it's all in there because it's nice and saturated already. And let's go ahead and talk about the mod. Just gonna put this top cap on it. And this is what it looks like, USB. And I'm actually gonna leave mine probably wide open. There we go. And yeah, so that's that. Now the mod itself has a really, really nice 510 on the top. The measurements of this are 91 millimeters by 54 millimeters by 35.5. You can literally fit a 30 millimeter RDA 
um, on this with no overhang whatsoever, which is kind of crazy because the majority of the dual battery squonk mods actually do not fit more than I'd say like a 26 at max. And that's pushing it depending on the mod that you're actually looking at, which again, I've only had a couple and the max is usually 25 to 26 millimeters. So it does give you a lot of room for a bigger atomizer for sure. Okay, um, going through the menu, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna just zoom in for you. Um, again, we do have the fire button here, and then you've got your minus and your plus. Um, right now we're in the wattage mode, and in wattage mode it does go up to a total of 240 watts and as low as one watt. So when you get to 240, it'll actually round robin. You don't have to go all the way back down. So I think that that to me is also a plus. It's got your battery indications, which are right here and right here, your wattage here, your resistance, your voltage, your puff counter, and on here it's got E and S. This is actually for eco, normal, and sport, which is the same thing as soft, normal, and hard. If you wanna change those, all you need to do is press your plus and minus at the same time, and I'll change to the next one. And the next one, I'm actually gonna put it back to normal because I do like it in normal mode. So that's pretty much it for the menu other than going up and down for your wattage. And then to get into the menu system, you're gonna click three times, one, two, three. This is the menu that you're gonna get. It's got power, temp, bypass, update, settings, lights, and then system off. In power mode, which we were just in, I don't have to go over too much with that. Temperature control, if you select it by using your power your power button, it's gonna say, well, if you put a new coil, it'll say new or old. Um, this is where your temperature, temperature control goes from 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. And if you press the fire button two times fast, it'll change to Fahrenheit. And this will go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. To change your um, materials, all you need to do is press and hold your left in your plus and minus and I'll switch to titanium, stainless steel, nickel, back to whatever you want. And that's how you change that. There is no way to change the wattage in temperature control. It'll actually be based off of the wattage that you have in regular power mode. So that to me is the only real um, con to the temperature control to be, but to be honest with you, not many of us use temperature control, so I don't see this as being a big con in this in this regard. Okay, so to get back to the menu, one, two, three, and we're back in the menu. We're gonna go to bypass, bypass. It makes it like um, an unregulated uh, mod, so not many people use that. I wouldn't suggest that for new users. Um, this is where you would actually do your firmware updates. There's also a way if you go into update to do your firmware updates, you can actually change some of the um, wallpapers, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Settings, if you press on settings and you choose that, you can actually change, reset your puff counter and you can also choose your wallpaper. If you choose your wallpaper, there's actually 17 that are preset in here for you and you can change from any of them any style that you want, any theme, anything that you want like that. They did leave some open so that you can actually do your own as well. So um, if you do go to the update settings and um, there's more information in the user manual, you can actually do that. So I'm gonna choose this one here. If you notice, it's got like this little um, wave theme in the background now and your puff counter is now on top. So it changes the layout just a little bit. Getting back into the menu, you can go back to lights. This is actually just where you can actually increase or decrease your screen brightness. So right now I have it all the way, but you can go ahead and reduce it and it'll make it dimmer. I always like mine really, really lit up. So I'm just gonna keep that at maximum. And then your system off. This is actually where you would power off the device. So go ahead and press that. It's gonna turn it off to turn it back on. It's five clicks and it says Mach 1, and it turns back on. This is powered by the VO chip, or VO chip, um, as you saw when it was booting up. Now, in this um, mode, we're currently in temperature control. I'm actually gonna go back to the menu, and I'm gonna select power, because I do want it in power, in power mode. Um, in addition to that, to lock your device, and this would lock your power button and your plus and minus buttons, you wanna press the fire button five times. This will actually lock it. You cannot fire it. You can't change your resist or your up and down for your wattage or anything like that. So you can lock the mod. Again, to 
turn it off, you would have to go to the menu. Five clicks unlocks it, and that's pretty much it. It's very, very user-friendly, but it fits really, really well in the hand. It's kind of hard to see because it's down low, but I'm gonna take you up top and we'll talk more about it. But I do like the feel of it. It's It feels like it's a very, very good solid mod. The menu system is really, really easy. You've got your power, your plus and your minus, and that's it. So let's go ahead and go on top and talk more about okay, it. Okay, so here we are back on top. Before I do anything, I'm actually gonna take a vape so that you can see the cloud production because even though this is a really, really simple RDA, it's got clouds. Wendy loves clouds. <laughs> Very, very flavorful. That's at 78 watts. I'm actually gonna go up a little bit more. And this is fully open as I had it down below. You can see right through it. Really, really nice. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. I'm actually gonna go to the middle one now, just so you can see what that's like. Turn that a little bit, there we go. And now I have it on the, it's kind of hard to see down below because it's black. That's the top. Oops, oops, there we go, I'm in the middle one. I thought I was in the middle one, but I just wanna make sure. So now I've got the middle one open. I don't know if you can see my hand. It's probably a little bit hard to see it, but there we go, we've got the middle open. I have to tell you, for such a simple RDA, it does have a really good clouds, it's got really good flavor. I forgot to put my drip tip all the way down. Um, very, very good clouds, very good flavor, and it's very simple. Um, in the sense of like, if you're like an intermediate building builder, God, I can't talk today, sorry about that. Um, it's kind of easy. Being that it's got this, the shared post system, that's not something that I really, really like. I would have preferred something more of a, either a postless deck or uh, like a velocity style deck, opposed to a shared post deck. I think that it just makes it a little bit harder. Um, it reminds me of like the Petri RDA and things like that, which weren't my favorites because of the fact that they had the share post. Um, now on to another thing. Now, one thing I do like about the RDA, I will tell you is that USB symbol. I love that. And I love this airflow system. I love the step down. I like having options in that sense. So I think that that's really, really cool. So that's it about the RDA. About the mod. I have to tell you, I love, love, love the feel of this in my hand. It's not too heavy. And I think that that's awesome. And it's not too girthy either, but it does hold up to a 30 millimeter atomizer, which is amazing. Um, that's what I wanted. I've wanted something that can hold a 26 or a 28 millimeter RDA. Um, not that there's too many out there, but if there are, and there will be some coming, I'm pretty sure, um, I want something that can handle it. I'm gonna give you a comparison, um, a size comparison. This is actually the Rage by Ownboy OC. And this is the way it is sideways and then this is it's pretty much the same if you look at it from width um the only thing is is that you couldn't really fit anything over like a 25 millimeter on here on here you can another one was um this is from geek vape this is the g box the g box was really really girthy another dual battery 18650 and it's kind of girthy and stuff but again you couldn't fit a really really big atomizer on it because of the fact that it was towards the front as was the rage in this sense it's centered as far as i know most of you like centered 510s so this would actually be optimal for you the bottle is a little bit um hard to squish but it's not too hard i thought honestly that it would be when I first seen it and I first felt it without actually looking into it and using it and things like that. I thought that it was gonna be a little bit difficult, but it hasn't been. It's been really, really user-friendly for me. I actually just do it with my nail. I don't even do it with my finger. I do it with my nail and I'm not breaking a nail. So <laughs> it works perfectly that way. Um, I'm gonna have a vape and we'll keep going. As you can see, you can either finger fire it or you can thumb fire it. For some of you, that's not gonna be a, a problem because a lot of you that I know of really like the thumb firing and really like the buttons in the middle. Personally, I like a side fire button, but that's just my personal preference. Now this one, I will tell you, I've actually gotten used to the middle button because of the way that I hold it. Because I'm holding it like this and it's not any other shape, 
um it works it really does work and i can hold it like this i found myself holding it like this as you can see it doesn't bother me at all so if you're worried about that it's really not a problem it it, it doesn't take any time getting used to as soon as you hold the mod your thumbs right there anyway i like the screen i think that it's a really really nice bright screen i think that that's awesome um it does this mod will do a resistance as low as 0.1 ohms to 3 ohms so i think that that's awesome um and being able to upload your own wallpapers, I think that's another awesome feature that I haven't seen with a lot of devices. I, I only think that there might be a couple out there that you can do that too. One huge, huge, huge pro I have to give it to them is that squonk bottle. That squonk bottle, having the shape that it has and using up the section that is not normally used, I think is super innovative. I really, really like that. It does go along with a little con. The con is, is that you have to open up the battery compartment to take it out. That's, that can be a con to some, but now with all the different refill bottles and refill caps and things like that for squonking, you probably won't ever need to do that. So that to me isn't too, too much of a big deal. Um, let me see, what else? Um, ergonomic, yeah, it's really, really ergonomic in the hand. Sorry, I did take a couple notes because I kept saying, don't forget to tell them this, don't forget to tell them that because after you've used it for a while, you kind of forget about the newness. So I do like how it fits in the hand and it's it's a really nice matte finish, so it's not slippery. You're not getting like fingerprints on it, so I really, really like that. I love the look of it. It does come in a multitude of colors. I know that there's a red, there's the blue, which I had to have the blue. Um, I was given this, by the way, by USB in Miami when I met them in Miami. Very, very nice people, love them so much. Um, thanks again for letting me review this. And we were talking about it and that squonk bottle is just amazing. Now it only does only come with the one squonk bottle, but you can purchase a second one for only $8, which I think is awesome. When you purchase the squonk bottle separately, it does come with like a little topper for the top of it. So you can actually carry an extra one with you if you want to. So I think that that's a pro in itself as well plus the bottle is just an innovative shape and style and the way that you insert it it's using all the the elements of the mod without making extra or making it too big so i think that that's awesome um simple menu the menu super super simple most everybody that i've talked to doesn't even know how to use temperature control so i don't think that that's a big deal but then again, for, it is kind of a con that you can't change your wattage in temperature control. So if I did want to use it, I would like to be able to change my wattage in temperature control. Um, the another one is um, no TCR or no curve settings. Now, uh, I've used curve settings in power mode and I like it. Um, I haven't really used curve settings in temperature control because I'm not a temperature control kind of person. I don't use a lot of temperature control. If I do, I usually use it in my DNA um, LiPo mods. Then I use the temperature control, not usually in like a squonk mod. So that doesn't really bother me, but I did want to mention it for you. Um, I, I just think I, f I love the feel of this. I have to tell you, like just to have the feel of it, it feels really good in the hand. I like the button placement. Even though I'm usually like a side fire, the button placement, I think this is pretty much the only mod that I, I grew to love it right when I got it. So I really think that that's great. Is it the best RDA? Not really, not, I, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's not the best RDA, but it works for the kit. So if you're into something and you're new to squonking, you want something that's a dual 18650 and you're looking for something that can be kind of simple, then you can go ahead and use this. Being that you can interchange it with any other atomizer up to 30 mils is a huge pro, huge, huge pro for me. Now the price of this is right now on usvofficial.com, $99.99, but it comes with the whole thing. There is no option to just purchase the mod, um, but it's worth, I don't know. For me, I think it's worth it. Uh, for a dual 18.650, it feels like it's been machined really, really well. I won't lie to you. I love the feel of this mod. Like I, I would probably use this with a tank without squonking just because I really like it that much. Um, I wish that there was actually a mod like this that, that was just a not squonking mod. So USB, if you're listening, I really like the mod. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for um, my review. Um, 
I, I, I can't really say too much really bad about it other than the things that it doesn't have. But for the things that it does have, I think it's awesome. Also with this VO chip, as soon as you hit that fire button, it's actually firing. There's nothing wrong with it. And for being such a, an, a plain Jane type of RDA, really good clouds, very good flavor. So you're not gonna you're not gonna be disappointed with this kit. I can promise you that. So um, unfortunately, I can't leave any links down below to USV. But what I'll do is I'll show it right here for you, usvofficial.com. You can go ahead and reach out to them. They've also got some other products on there, but this one so far is my favorite. So yeah, so all my other social media links are down below. If you like the review, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified anytime that I upload new content. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.